The video you are about to watch contains health answers that most doctors are not willing to talk about and don't want you to know. You or someone you love may be suffering with health problems such as digestion problems, weight gain, headaches, and even low energy. Today you will find the cause of most of these health problems that are robbing you and your loved ones of good health. Here today to educate you on this vital topic is Dr. Joel Robbins. Dr. Robbins is a medical doctor, a chiropractor, and a naturopathic physician. He has treated over 100,000 patients and has been in practice for over 20 years. Dr. Joel Robbins has written several books on health and wellness. He lectures around the country and has been a guest on many talk shows. In fact, the United States Air Force called him to Washington to help them improve the health of their pilots. Dr. Joel Robbins is a true living example of someone who walks his talk. At the age of 47, he still looks like he is in his 30s. Please pay close attention now as he shares with you today the major cause of most of you and your family's health concerns. In traditional medicine, and unfortunately in complementary health care, we look at the symptom and we say, all right, with that symptom, this diagnosis, what remedy do we give? Is it a drug? Is it surgery? Is it an herb? Is it colonic therapy, acupuncture? What is it? But we fail to ask the primary question, the basic question, which is, what is the cause? If you have a headache and you go to the doctor, he prescribes aspirin, you take the aspirin, your headache goes away, what would logic tell you as to the cause of your headache? Well, that's simple, aspirin deficiency. And yet, there is no such thing. We do not get a headache due to a salicylic acid deficiency. We haven't asked what the cause is. This is like hearing the fire alarm go off in your home and you run up and find the wires to the fire alarm and cut the wire and think, okay, I don't hear the fire alarm anymore, therefore, there's no more fire. That's ridiculous. The problem with not looking at causes is that while we're getting relief, we continue to poison the body, we begin, we continue to weaken it, and ultimately, we end up with some disease process. I believe the number one cause of health problems is auto-intoxication. Auto meaning self, intoxication meaning poisoning. We poison ourselves by our faulty lifestyle. Yes, most of the time out of ignorance. What is the most common cause of auto-intoxication? It's poor bowel function or poor colon health. Oh, come on, you say. That's ridiculous. Well, let me tell you something. There are medical studies that say otherwise. Here are some very interesting facts about our colon. This first one comes from Dr. Anthony Bagier, a professor of gastroenterology in New York concluded after a 25-year study of over 5,000 cases that every physician should realize that the intestinal toxins are the most important primary and contributing causes of many disorders and health problems of the human body. That's profound. When I went to medical school, chiropractic school, even naturopathic school, I was not taught about the relationship between colon health and physical problems. That is sad. But after 20 plus years of clinical experience and also the hundreds of medical studies, we now know better. The health of the colon does make a difference. In this video, we're going to learn how poor colon health can lead to serious health problems. We're going to learn what auto intoxication is, what causes it, and what we can do about it. Many of you are hurting, many of you are frustrated, you have health problems you're not finding answers for. Just listen up. We're going to give you hope. There is a solution. To understand auto intoxication and its relationship to colon health and our health, we need to have a quick anatomy lesson. Let's look at the digestive system. Digestion begins in the mouth. As we chew our food, saliva mixes with the food. Saliva contains some enzymes that begin the process of digesting that food. We swallow the food, it goes down into the stomach where digestion continues. From there, the food goes into the small intestine where digestion finishes up, and then food is absorbed through the villi in the small intestine. After digestion, after absorption, the food is passed on into the large intestine and becomes fecal matter. It goes across the transverse, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, and out through the rectum. Here's a diagram of your small intestine. It is about 25 feet in length and approximately the width of your thumb. On the close-up here, we see what are called villi. These are finger-like projections through which nutrition is absorbed into the bloodstream to nourish the body. Now, eating toxic food, junk food, can cause 
a film to build up over these villi which will hinder the absorption of nutrition into the body. And it really doesn't matter how many supplements you take, you're not going to get the benefit of your money. In this diagram, we're observing the normal.